It's certainly not a success, but it's not a failure. That's how we'll say it. Well, good afternoon guys. Welcome to the channel. Um, a little bit of a change of pace from some of the previous videos where well, I don't know where the end of this video will end up, but it might be the same. But what we're doing here is, this is the block um, where my house is, and this is the one that got affected by the flood. Um, I'll put a link in the top corner and also in the description um, of that video. And yeah, just a lot of straw laid down, um, and yeah, bits of rubbish that have gone through it. And because the straw's all sort of tangled, um, you can see here, it makes it really hard to put the planter through. So what we're doing is that this is the last chance really before uh, or while the wind's the right direction and um, yeah while we can we're going to light up the paddock um, and hopefully it'll do a good job on all of it and it's not a really hot day the wind's not a really warm wind or anything like that so I don't think it's going to be absolutely crazy but it should go up okay that's what we're hoping for at least. Um, and yeah, we'll just have to see. I don't know how many hands we'll have on deck, so I mightn't be able to film a lot of it, but hopefully I'll get a little bit here and there, maybe a little bit of a drone shot, um, just as long as everything's under control. But we do have the fire truck here, and we've got a good, decent fire break. Um, with, yeah, we did a fire break with some offsets to uh, make sure it stays where we want it to. All right, so this is the key part. You've got to wait for it to light up well enough and get hot. Brad's going to... Show us how it's done here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all know. It's the first day of no fire restrictions too. Yeah, know, we didn't need the fire permit. <laughs> so Jamie and I are gonna be on the fire truck getting ready. Oh yeah, she might go alright. Well it's kinda working. Um, obviously where it's a bit thicker it's doing a better job. So we're just cutting through just um, to make the fire break a bit wider like there's nothing over here that'll burn anyway but um, yeah it'll give it a give us a good idea of how it's gonna go. We're just waiting here in one of the corners of the paddock, not downwind obviously. Um, and yeah, it's it's doing a job. Like it's it's not an absolute raging fire, which um, yeah, it'd probably do a better job if it was. But we're going to have quite a few patches where it hasn't been burnt. But in saying that, even if you know 60, 70 percent burnt, it still deals with a lot of the twisted stubble and that and it does make it a lot easier even if it's not 100 percent um but yeah just funny it'll be crawling along for a bit and then it'll just flare up and um get going good so we've had to just change our strategy a little bit um we were just going to go right around the outside and then it'll just fill in in the middle but um we've ended up just we're going to do zigzags which you'll probably see from a little bit from the drone um, and that means it'll if there's a bit of a space where it's been missed and when you come back on the other side um, If that lights up well, it'll carry through to that unburnt bit um, That's the theory, but um, Yeah, it does I think it's just going to take a bit of time take a little bit longer than we thought It's just a little bit damp. It's not hasn't been a hot day. It's not a hot wind. It was like 10 degrees overnight or something like that with the dew. so um, Yeah, it will come to us more and more as the sun shining on it, but um, we don't have a long window to get it all done before the dew settles tonight, so we'll, um, anyway, it's interesting, it's good to see.
it's doing a job, but I think it's certainly not a success, but it's not a failure. That's how we'll say it. Well, in conclusion, um, yeah, it's might, we might have got 50% of the paddock burnt, but it just yeah, it just wasn't enough heat in the day to, to let it carry, and um, it was hitting the tram lines and not carrying over to the next run and that. So if we had the wind direction in the right direction, it probably could have could have done a fairly good job. But yeah, it just you can't you can't control that sort of thing. Um, but what we are quickly doing is Phil's just hopped on the Kelly chains to see if it's too damp. Um, so he has done a bit of a pass here. Um, and yeah, the Kelly chains will do a good job of just leveling out some uh, marks from sowing last year and that when we're having a few issues. And um, yeah, just give it all a good level, start again, and uh, yeah, ready to sow into in um, a month or so. So yeah, what I might do is I'll, I think I've just got enough battery in the drone. Um, someone didn't really think about charging their drone batteries last night. So um, I think I've got a, enough left to get a bit of a shot of the Kelly chains. So we'll do that. Good morning guys, it is a cracking day today, uh, just a little bit brisk first thing in the morning but um, yeah it warms up quite nicely so we are here at the block that we we're actually trying to burn just um, a couple of days ago, um, at the weekend has happened in the meantime so yeah Kelly Chains are doing a quite a nice job and we'll see whether we can get this done today. So it's about 200 acres. Um, so yeah, I should be able to, I think Phil did about half of that or close to half of that um, there on Saturday night and actually then his son Jamie was on it till about 9.30 or something. Um, yeah, so about half of it's been done but I'll go through, do the rest of it and then probably redo every tram line or something like that. See if there's any bits that need attention and redo them. Um, yeah, we go from there. So I'm just going to sit back and enjoy not working in the shed for a little bit I think.
guys, we're all done uh, here, so I was able to just go back over a couple of the rougher bits and um, smooth them out. Um, yeah, but I'm, we're actually just heading to the corner of the paddock and we're going to take it down to the development block where the Steiger is needed to get on the cultivator to cultivate the organic section and the Kelly chains will stay there. Uh, maybe that, they might go to the new lease block, the new lease block, which is down a little bit further past um, the development block. So we're just uh, going to be doing a bit of shuffling of machinery, that sort of thing. In exciting news, we are one step closer to getting the shed finished here, or the, the shed build finished, I guess. And we have tanks. So there's two of these. It's been that long, I was told, but I've forgotten already how many litres they hold. I'm pretty sure they're about 200,000. I'm pretty sure it was 200,000 litres each or 220,000 litres each, something like that. But um, yeah, very, very big. I don't quite know if the camera does it justice, but um, I'll stand next to it and see if my arm's long enough. But that's how tall it is. And I'm uh, eight foot tall. Actually, I'm under six foot, so. Um, they would be about eight feet tall and um yeah that is i don't, I don't know the di diameter of it but basically what it is is yeah you just got a, a corrugated iron outside and then there's a bladder um that goes on the inside and that's how it all seals and um yeah it should last a very very long time and then we've just got to organize um and it's in the pipe pipeline obviously huh, pardon the pun but um, we've got this is going to all get connected to the tanks obviously so we'll uh, yeah I think there's a bit of a dodgy dodgy pipe laying here to get water into these tanks uh, when they're being built you need to put a little bit of water in their bladder to hold the bladder down otherwise it, yeah for some reason it doesn't work as well but I'm no tank builder but um, yeah it's looking good but anyway the reason I am here and well it wasn't the original reason but it is now is we need to put some of that crushed blue metal rock um, we need to put it around the tank now for the minute I'm not going to do the whole lot because that's a fairly intensive job um, but what I'm going to do is put it on all the critical areas for the minute until we get um, yeah in the next few days until we get more organized to be able to do it properly so yeah pile up the rock here and that way it'll stop the sand from washing away if we get rain um, and yes i'll do all of that there um, and then also here where this downpipe um, comes down it's obviously going to wash and it, you can see here it already has a bit but yeah, it's going to wash down here um, and we're going to wash we're going to lose a lot of our sand there so 
I'm going to get in the JX, little front end loader, and see if I can not hit the tanks. A bit nervous about that, um, but we'll just see what happens. had some relative success um, we've got that just filled up there I don't know quite exactly where the water is going to run now hopefully it doesn't look like it'll run that way um, this still is the lowest point so hopefully it'll run out down there I've just got a smooth I haven't smoothed any of this off yet um, and yeah so I just smooth a bit off probably with my foot push up a bit against there that sort of thing um, and through here it was very tricky to get the tractor in here without cutting big tracks and obviously the sand's soft too. I didn't want to muck up that. So I was being quite careful here. Um, and then I was getting as close as I could by backing up there and coming up here to dump a bit here. Um, this is all going to have to just be done by hand. But I think if I can get it, get the rock spread out to at least here, it should be okay. Because um, this rock will let water through. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of a, just a natural high spot here, so I don't think it's going to erode there. Um, but the reality is, is one or two big rain events isn't going to do any damage here. It'd be over there. So we've got that covered. Um, then the same thing over this side. I quickly put a little bit here just to be able to spread out and then smoothed out with the bucket as best I could. A bit around the sides there just to just to help keep everything intact well guys that will be it for another video i believe hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you haven't already uh, giving it a thumbs up or even leaving a comment is the best way um, just to support the channel it is encouraging seeing um, people's positive comments and we'll catch you in the next one